In this tutorial, I'm going to elaborate on the different ways to slip edit in Samplitude and Sequoia. Slip editing is when you slide the audio back and forth within an object. The object remains in the same position, only the waveform moves. There are three possible ways to do this. The first way is to use the object editor. The second way is to use the mouse plus a keyboard modifier. And the third way is to use keyboard shortcuts. I will explain all three methods. I'm going to demonstrate this using a multi-track drum session. For these examples, I will show you how to slip edit multiple grouped objects. I'm pressing Ctrl plus A to select all objects. Now I'm clicking on the group objects icon. I'm also going to enable auto crossfade mode. Now if I deselect the objects, selecting a single object would automatically select them all. This is because they are now grouped. I have a range saved, which I'm recalling. I'll zoom in further. Next I'm double clicking the range twice, and now all objects within that range are selected. Press T to split the objects. I'm recalling a second saved range. Double click on one of the selected objects to open the object editor. Then click on the Position Fades tab. This drum session wasn't recorded to a click and has yet to be tempo mapped. But for the sake of this example, I'm choosing 1.30 second as the nudge step setting. Left click to select from the list. So now I can use the left and right arrows to nudge the content of multiple audio objects. If you want to use a finer resolution, select from the preset list or type in the amount. You can, of course, choose a different nudge format from the drop down list. On to the second slip editing method. I'll zoom in further for this. Hold down the right control modifier on your keyboard. Then left click and drag either way. This method doesn't rely on the step resolution, therefore you can make very precise adjustments. Remember it's the right control modifier plus the left mouse. The third method is to use keyboard shortcuts. Click on the object menu and go to Move Edit Objects Object Move Step 1. Here you can see a whole bunch of shortcuts that deal with object manipulation. The bottom section has six commands which deal with slip editing. I'm going to use the bottom two. The pre-assigned keyboard shortcuts are Ctrl plus Alt plus 9 slides the audio to the left. Ctrl plus Alt plus 0 slides the audio to the right. Now I can slide the audio of these drum tracks using the keyboard shortcuts. The nudge resolution for these object move step 1 shortcuts reflects the nudge step setting of the object editor. This is currently 132nd or 048. But another set of keyboard shortcuts have been assigned under the object move step 2 sub menu. This means you can have two preset nudge step settings when using keyboard shortcuts. One for object move step 1 and another for object move step 2. You can define step 1 and step 2 settings by opening the object fade step setting dialog box. Step width 1 reflects the current setting in the object editor, as I just showed you. Although if you choose to change the setting from here, the object editor setting will change as well. But you need to use this window to change step width 2. 
I'm going to set it to 192, which is 1 8th. It's then a case of using the relevant shortcuts for the two nudge step settings. Nudge step 1. Nudge step 2. So that covers the three methods for slip editing or wave nudging in Samplitude or Sequoia.